Hey guys, I thought I would kind of let you have a look at me at the end of the day. It has been a long day. I left the house, it was probably about quarter of eight this morning. And I, I think I got up at 5.30. But anyways, I left the house at quarter of eight this morning, had an icy ride into the office again. And then I had a full day. So we had a really hectic day, a full day, very productive day but a long day. On the way home, I stopped by my mom's house and visited with my mom and dad. And uh, then Jay and I had a nice little dinner. And um, now it's, I think, almost nine o'clock. So I thought I'd record this before I stripped everything off. I went to the hairdressers last night and she, you know, touched up and she did a little bit of a trim. And um, she, we were just kind of like, you know, talking. And I told her that I was futzing around with my hair and I was trying to do the beachy waves. So she did all these beachy waves. I don't know if, the, if you can see it, but can you see the kind of curly look I have around my face, which I think makes my face look a lot fatter. But anyways, so she did all the, the beachy waves, but my hair is still too short to pull that look off nicely. I think maybe in another two months it'll grow a little bit longer, maybe hit my shoulders and it might look pretty cool. So when I got up this morning, I was like playing with it and it was like, it, it kind of looked, it looked nice, but it looked weird. So I just decided to stick one of my, <coughs> oh, excuse me, stick one of my fake buns in my hair. And that's what I did. So I, I took my little twisty, I took the uh, claw clip, and I just twisted my hair up. It took me all of two minutes. And then I put the um, the little the fake bun. I'm going to turn around so you can see the back, because everyone always says, show us the back. Now, again, this has been on my hair since probably about 7.30 this morning. So it is a full day, because it's 9 o'clock. So I expect that it's kind of messy. But you can see the clip. I don't care about that because when I used to have long hair and I put my hair up, you could always see the clip. So it held up. I have two bobby pins in there. That's it. The clip and two bobby pins and it held up all day and you can, you can kind of see the beachy things. So the other things I wanted to just mention, I had talked about how I had requested this Clarins palette. It's an eye palette and I had shown it in one of my previous vlog videos. It was sent to me via the Octoly, Octoly website in exchange for a review and I think I had mentioned that I really liked it. So I put it on today. My thoughts are this is a wet and dry and I really didn't understand. Oh, I can see that myself. Oh, anyways. So this is a wet and dry look and I really didn't quite understand how that would really work but when it's dry it can be kind of powdery but when you just like gently wet your at least this is how I did it it's probably all wrong but I wet my brush just dampened it and I dipped in and the shadow went on really nice so I used all three of these colors except for I mean I used all of them except for the orange one here but I um, I did the lightest shade all over my lid then I did the medium shade in my crease, and then the darker shade around my outer V. It is more of a pinker look than I normally wear. You know, normally I, I gravitate more to the purpley look, but I really like it. Now, I'm still amazed at the packaging of this. I love, I love how this arrived. A little velvet pouch, this beautiful, beautiful, did I ever tell you how Jay and I met? You know, so sometimes, you know, that first impression or you lock eyes or you something like this that is just so pretty to look at. But Jay and I met, this is going to be really corny, we were on a broker caravan and I was on the second floor on a balcony, an open foyer, and I didn't know Jay. He had just recently moved back into town. And he came in on the first floor with a group of other, other people. And the people that I was standing with on the balcony, I looked at the lady that I was with and because Jay had walked in and we locked eyes. I was looking down, he was looking up and we just locked eyes. So I turned to the person next to me and I said, who is that? And he turned to the person next to him and said, who is that? So sometimes that connection, that first impression connection, I don't know why I'm even telling you that. It's probably because it was the pretty packaging and, and, and not to say that, you know, I was a pretty package or whatever, but um, 
there was just something that I think attra attracted him to me and, and uh, you know, me to him. And uh, that first, first impression. So, and I think that's also something that attracted me to this palette. I just thought it was my colors. I thought it was really, really pretty. And I love the compact. I love, I love the look of it. Now, Viseart palette in Amethyst is still my favorite. Definitely still my favorite. But the packaging on this, oh my gosh, I love it. So, so far, I'm really enjoying this. I think I would probably mix it with a darker shade of purple a little bit, but I kind of like it. It's held up all day. I think it's probably a little bit of crease action, but like I said, it's been on 7.30, since so 7.30 this morning. It's 9 o'clock at night now. I've done no touch-up, no touch-up whatsoever. The only other thing on my eyes is my mascara, which this morning was my purple essence, and then I had my eyeliner, my black eyeliner, which I think is the Sephora waterproof gel that I had on today, and I've done nothing. So the only thing I've ever, I've touched up on my face is I've had to dab a little bit of oil because my skin was flaking, and lipstick. So that was really, really cool. The other thing I wanted to mention, I had, Many of you know I'm on a ketogenic diet. I had received an email from this company, Optimal Nutrition Simplified, and it's amplemeal.com, and they had reached out to me quite a while ago, so long ago that I totally even forgot about it. So they had reached out and said that they were going to be coming out with a keto shake a keto meal replacement would i be interested in trying it and i said absolutely so they sent me and this is the uh, this is a meal replacement this is not a you know a supplement this is a full meal replacement the ingredients are incredible i don't have my glasses on so i'm not going to read them but the ingredients are incredible you mix this with water and it's supposed to make you feel really really full I am so looking forward to trying these. This is Ample K, which is a ketogenic meal shake. And I will list all the ingredients below, but they sent me uh, 12 bottles of this. So I was, pretty, I was pretty happy with that. I hope it tastes good. I'll let you know. I haven't tasted it yet. I just got it, but I'll let you know. One thing that was a total bust <laughs> was I bought this. Granted, I... You know, I bought it at TJ Maxx. It cost me four dollars and ninety nine cents. It says it's a waterproof root color touch up. I don't know what I was thinking. It says medium brown. I really don't know what I was thinking. I think I was I was expecting that it would be like a brush, and it's not. It's like this little. It's almost like a, like a, like a thingy you put on your lips, you use for your lips. So, <laughs> you should have seen the mess I made with this. Before I went to the hairdressers and all my grays and all my whites, I actually tried to put this on my hair. And it was, all I can tell you is that don't waste your $4.99. It If this was maybe a brush and you could have brushed it in, it might have worked a little bit better, but it was a total fail for me in that funky applicator. I did not like that applicator at all. So, yeah. Oh, and um, so with my hair, you know, now that it's growing longer, I'm able to pull it up uh, a lot easier. A couple of things that I did get, and I wanted to show you folks this. I got this at Ulta. And this is just like, like one of, I know it looks like one of those hippie spikes. But this is just like a spiky look. So depending on the type of look you're trying to create, you know, if you want to pull it up and you just want to have a messy spiky look, I think this is pretty cool. I can't remember what I paid for this, but definitely cheap money. I think it was under under 10 bucks. And this is the other one that I have, and I've shown this one before. This is the one with the curlies. What I have in my hair is the straighter one, more of a um, relaxed look. I guess but this is the the curly one so that's really it I just wanted to talk to you about those things I am still doing the eyelash serum that Carol from the O Carol show and I are testing out and that's lash tonic 
we are all we're on week three and we're going for a month I'll be all done next week and then we'll report back the week afterwards what we thought of that last tonic but I thought I'd give you a look look see I don't think you can tell much of anything but that's the scoop that's my video and I'm not too sure if this will go up I think it will I'm going to try to put this up Sunday morning Super Bowl Sunday and and then um, next week when I publish my vlog with all my vlog clips I'll um, have some some clips of Jay surviving Super Bowl <laughs> Who knows? I hope it's a good one for him. I hope he survives because he is such a, such a emotional guy when it comes to his ball players. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much. I will talk to you all later. And hey, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I was looking at my statistics because it was a conversation that we were having Sherry, and I'll link her channel because she was talking about it as well. And my... Of 61.8% of, of you watching this video and not subscribed to my channel. And I would love it if you just click that little subscribe button and subscribe to the channel. I really would. I truly appreciate it. It would make me happy. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>